Do y'all know about Logan Paul's fiance in that situation with the former UFC? Be honest, Absolutely. I've heard a lot of it. Uh, yeah. It's right been like Krishan Rock unavoidable, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, it's it's. I keep seeing <laughs> it, but I don't know not a single thing. Like I, I just know. No, mine. So uh, essentially, essentially, what's going on? And this is Logan Paul's opponent, right? Dylan is Logan Paul's opponent mm. for this next fight coming up, mm. and typical celebrity new age boxer you gotta you gotta you know get on social media blast your opponent talk about them bad etc cetera, etc cetera. try to get in their head well logan paul's fiance nina she's a former you know sports illustrated model she's also been dating some guys in the past quote unquote she's dated some famous guys so now this dylan dude is going around spreading these rumors basically that she's Thotting and bopping, slurping up all these celebs. You know, she's getting piped in the bathroom like Mario. Posting pictures um, every single day. Like every single picks, day. You know, crazy interactions. I ain't gonna lie. Two billion? Just That's saying so something, so <laughs> something crazy. Saying crazy stuff about her. Um, like Biso said, literally every single day. Videos, um, photos. Every, every, edits, every single thing, bro. Literally last week, and I don't know if his camp started this, but there was a, a video of a woman who looked extremely similar to her. <laughs> that was, it's... that was, I mean, she was, she was sucking. Lizzie that, Globlin. Sucking God, some yeah. penis. I about to say, yeah, and, and yeah. how, no, how hard you emphasized it? Because that's what I said, too. I said, she's, this nigga has Logan Paul's fiance on the TL sucking dick and it's big. And she like, doing she good. was giving it a she was giving it a throat massage, nigga. It was crazy. No, it wasn't. And I, I know we're not analyzing how she sucked it, but you know when it's like the bigger ones in the in the videos, they really only get the tip. Like they really, she was on, on it. it. She was on it. She was on his shit. <laughs> um, so, but now. <laughs> She was Nancy Reagan. Crazy. No, because she could be so, be so, be so. We're it? right, though. We're I, right. We're when right. I, yeah, when I put it in the chat, it was like, whoa, this is nuts. <laughs> She's going fucking crazy. And it's huge. Um, But so now she's filing a restraining order. Uh, our jokes died. Um, oh, my God. Yeah, she's taking legal it, action. It's harassment. I mean, apparently also, the, uh, uh, they also might have hacked her Snapchat. You know. Damn. Yeah. Um, and he's also been putting out lies on her. I just want to say, and this is the reason why I probably couldn't date somebody who is famous. Um, cause all of a sudden the internet's going to take every picture that you take with another dude. Look at them dating. <laughs> She's a fucking thought. <laughs> she was dating three niggas at the same time. Like crazy. And, and my, Hey, I don't know if y'all seen that picture. It wasn't a picture. It was a video. This is right when Duke, um, broke up with Callie. So she walks out with, what's his name, Tyreek from Power. Like, they're at a concert. Mm -hmm. And he walks out of the backstage area first, and then she walks right behind him. And then, like, fucking Teen Shade Room was like, oh, my God, they're dating? And I was like, it's it's probably only one exit to this venue. Like, I don't even understand how that's a crazy thing to say. I don't know. Yes. No way that was a fumble. Nah, fuck no, we're no fumble. I guess, um, uh, you know what? No, no comment. I'm not doing this. <laughs> no, the way y'all set that up, I refuse, man. I'm y'all niggas is different, bro. Was on it. I, <laughs> no, she was no. on it. I'm, a, I'm allowed. About, I'm allowed to not speak. No, this, this is, is about crazy. the lawsuit. Um, because apparently, uh. This is the Snapchat hack. Yeah, they went the through like the IP posted. history and everything. Damn. Yeah. The villa, the video that was posted by Dylan Dennis to his ex account on August 28, 2023, was a video that I had recorded of myself more than six years ago, but never sent to anyone. The video was oh, saved was and good. archived only on my Snapchat because I never, uh, I had never shared the video. After Mr. Dennis posted That's it on amazing. X, I hired an intelligence and security consulting firm called Source Intelligence to look into whether my account had been hacked. Uh, I understand that Source Intelligence learned in its investigation that my Snapchat password had been changed on January 31st, 2022, mm-hmm. that on that day, there was a login to my Snapchat account 
from an iPad mini fifth generation with an IP address traced to an address in Phoenix, Arizona, and that all of my data on my Snapchat had been downloaded at that time. I also figured, uh, I also understand that the investigation showed that my Snapchat password had again been changed on February 16, 2022, and that at the time there was a login to my Snapchat account from an iPhone an XS yeah. with an IP address traced yes. to uh, New York, New York. Upon learning all that information, I knew that my account had been compromised because I was not responsible for any of those activities. Um, never requested, you know, a download of the data. Never owned an iPad Mini. Um, never been in Phoenix, Arizona at those dates. Um, Damn, who got my shit? Because I be getting them emails saying somebody logged in. Yeah, I don't know. I just be ignoring man. them, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared, bro. Yeah, y'all niggas be getting hacked, nigga. That's crazy. Y'all <laughs> no, are getting hacked. Signing the activity to your Venmo. What? Be so, be so. Oh, hey, early in the morning, and I ain't gonna lie. It's the let's keep it a buck one. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't no, say that. I, I, I've never, I've never made a let's keep it a buck Venmo, so I'm like, ah oh, man. Oh okay, okay. Oh well, <laughs> type shit. Wait, so that's was why that? I deleted my so the video she's talking about is that the dick sucking video? No, no, no. It's it's something else. Oh, it's something someone said action for dick. Okay, I, I seen that one too. She was asking for penis. Okay. Well, yeah, some of the clips are here. crazy too. She's like, uh, the only thing that can quench me right now is dick. I'm like, all right, bro. Jesus Christ. And. and? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just saying the that's why I crazy. never. Yeah, the but that's crazy. what I'm saying. I not. That's one of the reasons why I never dated celebrity, bro. Like, nah. Because <laughs> the only thing that can quench them is dick. I'm about to say, they <laughs> nah, because those clips are out there, bro. No cap. Of them asking no. for dick. Yeah. Talk, talk about good. the situation for a little. Like, what yeah. do you? How do you feel about um, the situation? About, He's on I mean, me. I don't. I'm about to say it's I already lovely. know about Dylan Dennis. Uh, I, for those of y'all who are UFC literate. Uh, when Khabib jumped out the ring when he fought Connor, Eagle Bear smashed. When he jumped out the ring, he jumped at the ring at Dylan Dennis. Uh, Dylan mm-hmm. Dennis is a known shit talker. He is a known fucking I'm going to get under your skin type of nigga. So I am not surprised about any of the shit he's doing. Ultimate troll, somebody just said in chat. Ultimate troll. I, I, I knew it was going to get to this point. I thought he would just stick to the pause. I didn't think he would. Well, I didn't know that she dated him. So it makes sense now. He's like, all right, I can say all the shit I want about you posting fake apology videos and hanging people. I, I That's fine. What I can do that you weren't going to expect is just slut shame your fiance, future wife until we fight. And there's nothing you're going to do about it. I'm just going to make her seem like a whore. And that is a hey, touche. I aspire to be that level of like hater troll like asshole bro that is like i respect game man hey game recognized game and that nigga game is tight in terms of pissing people off that's, that's just fucking tough i mean obviously weird weird cuz i ain't gonna lie you can be a troll all you want the hacking that that's what i draw a line once you start hacking i guess all right bro now nah, now now you need to get locked up <laughs> but that's the size of the point um I, I guess the fight will be good. I, I, I don't fucking know. I just think he's weird. I think it's open, open case showcase. I think it was weird as shit. As long as we, yeah, I, I mean, I don't care as long, but I, I just think like it's gotten to a point where like it is like it's disrespectful with what he's doing. Like there's a difference oh, yeah, between troll and disrespecting. He is disrespectfully harassing this man's fiance. True. And you know, it's, at some point, I understand it's entertainment, but that shit ain't cool, man. But yeah, n- not even, not not even close. Uh, don't usually root for them. Hope uh, hope this Paul brother whoops his ass, <laughs> cause that's crazy. And and <laughs> and, 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 nuts, and, you know. and if he doesn't whip him out, whip, whip his ass. Got to pull the switch out. No Nintendo, cause that's a lot. Cause think Gotta about he, he, ringside. Th- yeah, think about if he does all of that and then loses the fight. Like at that point, she can't she can't go through with the marriage, right? Uh, at that point, no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can't Ooh, can't go through with the marriage. Tough. Um. Also, uh, stop saving inappropriate or horny things to cloud based services. I know that that's the wave. I know that that's the or or confidential or whatever. I know that that's the wave. I know that that's the thing to do. They're pitching that. Um, just go to Best Buy, go to wherever, wherever, 
get you get the terabyte <laughs> like couldn't uh, get you a cord. little get you a little hard drive you know i got another one that uh, attaches to my my computer you know get you that put it there um get you a disposable man get for the you, art get of the game something. come on man cuz i promise you uh apparently if it's that easy to get her get into these shits and you just ignoring them I ain't gonna lie, be ignoring them. But you just be ignoring them, man. You're gonna get caught in a similar situation. So, yeah. That's a fact. I don't disagree. That's just the way I feel. She let that shit go for. She said this was 2022. Okay, so last year, or so two times it within like what was this 17 days of each other? Yeah, 17 days of each other. Her shit sent an email where it got changed twice. She thought nothing of it. She was like, "Oh yeah, I guess I own an iPad Mini that I never used." Let me, let me ask y'all this, because I don't know if it was Logan that said it on Twitter or out in the public or his fiance, but one of them said, like, all of this has strengthened their relationship. Do y'all believe that? No, Logan said it, that. and no, I it's, don't believe it's it. Apl- it's applied stress, and when people survive through stress, they feel like they got stronger. In hindsight, no, this has been an obstacle. <laughs> this is an obvious obstacle in your relationship that you're hey. trying to get. No, but obstacles can make you stronger, though. Kind yeah, that, that's what this the obstacle, argument is, but th- not this one. This, this is, obstacle won't make him stronger. He lose, I promise you. Their relationship will yeah, dwindle. Yeah, dwindle. Nothing, nothing is determined until that nigga wins the fight. Now, if he wins the fight, you you are just strong as hell, and that's it. But, nah, right now, nah. I'm watching this fight, though. W marketing. Yeah, yeah, oh, I, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. Right, I'm not a boxing right. guy. Bro, I always watch these fucking YouTube boxers, bro. This shit, and it's not because it's good. It's just funny as shit. Content. It's yeah. just fun because half these niggas, no, eighty five percent of them genuinely can't fight for shit. It's just funny. I'll uh, what's up, Jake? I, I think um, this is similar to that party situation with Meg Thee Stallion. Like when he hit her. True or not? True or not? After you hear that your girl's taking so many celebrity penises, it starts to like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who didn't you fuck, bitch? God damn! <laughs> and then you see, and then you see the big drop on there. Not Duke Dennis, <laughs> but that salami that was. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's salami, uh, type uh, Yeah. Uh, once once you see that wowzers. Once you see Wait, her taking no, <laughs> yeah, something that's mystical. Like, yeah, nah. After that, I ain't gonna lie. I could date a celebrity if I knew she was promiscuous and I knew that. I couldn't date somebody I didn't know which. I don't know how you wouldn't know a celebrity was promiscuous. I couldn't date somebody I didn't know was promiscuous and then some nigga trolling me is just dropping picture after picture. It was like, all right, bitch, whose dick didn't you suck at this point? Bitch, is this Jay-Z? When was you with Jay-Z? Like, that's, yeah, nah. Then you're trying to do the math on the ages. you like, this doesn't yeah. make no sense. Bitch, you're younger than me. This is crazy. Because like, you know. and the only reason, the only way it'll work is if you're famous and she's not famous, then you can make the decision. But if she's famous and she's and she's more famous than you, and she's telling you, "Baby, it's okay," nah, fuck you, bitch. 